What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Lane, show fitness instructor. And today I'm going to talk about the overhead squat assessment along with five kinetic chain checkpoints for NASA. If this is your first time tuning in, I am our in person instructor here in La Jolla, California, as well as our online instructor for our past NASA and ACT course. Thanks to the help of our study guide and weekly Zoom calls, we've been able to help over 3,000 people passing, and we can help you too. So if your goal is to pass NASA and CPT, make sure to watch this video, subscribe if you haven't already, so you can watch all the other videos on how to pass NASA. And of course, comment below or message me on Instagram at activeact7be, as well as at Show Fitness, Show Fitness Internship, so we can make sure you have access to our guide and those calls and everything that you need to pass the course. All right, let's get to it. The overhead squat assessment. Just so you guys are aware of, NASA may also abbreviate this as OHSA, so when you're taking the test and you see that, don't freak out, they're just referring to the overhead squat assessment. Now when a client's performing the overhead squat assessment, now he's going to want you to look at five kinetic chain checkpoints, which are going to be your feet or ankle, knees, hips, also known as your LPHC, lumbo-pelvic hip complex, shoulders, and head. So you're going to look at those five kinetic chain checkpoints and notice if, if there's any imbalances or impairments, compensations that you can look at. So first off, let's look at the proper positioning that is going to say that's going to be correct. You're going to look at your feet first. Uh, so if you can, they'll tell you to have your client's shoes off so you can look at them more appropriately. But they're going to have your feet straight ahead, about shoulder width apart. From there, the knees are also going to be straight ahead in line with the second and third toe. Make sure you remember that. That is one that pops up a lot. So knees straight ahead, in line, second and third toe. Then your hips, shoulders, and head are all going to be in a neutral position. When in doubt, when you're looking at form for NASM, go with straight ahead, neutral, in line. Like, like all of those terms, like everything rigid, structured, just straight and like a kind of box, if you want to say. Those are going to be key things for NASM. So when your client's performing the overhead squat, something is going to be out of place from there, right? So if you're looking at the feet, when we're looking at the anterior view, are your feet turning out when the client's doing the overhead squat? That could be compensation. If we look at the knees, are your knees caving in, going inside? That would also be a compensation that you see there. So anterior is going to be the front view, looking at the feet and knee, the knee as the main checkpoint for the anterior view. And then we'll turn sideways. So the lateral view, if your client's performing an overhead squat, the main one that you're going to see is going to be your LPHC. You'll also notice the shoulders as well, but the main one for the overhead squat will be your LPHC. So if my client's coming here, they have an excessive forward lean, that would be one. Or if they come down and they have a low back arch, that would also be another one. And then when you look at the shoulders, if they're coming down and their arms fall forward. So those are going to be the main issues that you'll see that occur during the overhead squat laterally from the side view as well as anteriorly from the front view. I do have other YouTubes going in depth about those compensations and breaking it down because of that, what are the most likely overactive and underactive muscles. Those are big concepts when you're taking the NASM CPT, so make sure that you guys understand what those are for the test. Now that you guys have that information, let's backtrack it a little bit. NASA said that there's five kinetic chain checkpoints, when in actuality that there's nine that you should be aware of when you're training clients. So I'm going to go over the remaining four that you guys did not hear about that you guys should be aware of when you're training your clients. And that's going to be the lumbar portion of the spine, thoracic portion of the spine, your elbow, and wrist. So those are the four ones that we missed. When we're referring to the region of the spine, there's three main regions that we're looking at. The lumbar portion, five vertebrae, think low back. Thoracic, um, mid-back portion, it's going to be 12 vertebrae. And then cervical portion, we did already mention, it's going to have seven vertebrae, it's going to be including your head and neck. So the nine kinetic chain checkpoints that you guys should be aware of while training your clients are going to be your ankle, knees, hips, lumbar portion of the spine, thoracic portion of the spine, head, shoulders, elbow, and wrist. Nine all together. Now, here at Joe Fitness, we love challenges. So our challenge to you is going to be to create a fun, cool warm-up incorporating all nine of those checkpoints. So go ahead, do that. Make sure you tag myself, active ACT 70 e as well as at Show Fitness, Show Fitness Internship. Tag us, put it in your story, post it on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, whatever it is. The goal is for you guys to come up with a cool, good warm up that incorporates all these checkpoints. And if you do it successfully by tagging us, you will gain access to one of our online classes, whether that's our past NASM or ACPT course, 
or a daily online internship. Because like I mentioned before, we are going to help you guys pass the NAF and ACPT. But our main goal is to help and try and change this fitness industry for the better by providing you guys the tools to make this a long-lasting and successful career. So that's why we have uh, internships in person like here in La Jolla, California, as well as at Santa Monica, West Hollywood. We realize not everyone can come in person, so that's also why we have online, which is great. We can reach you wherever you're at in the world. And of course, if you guys cannot come to us, we'll come to you. We have seminars every month, and they're weekends. They're two-day events that are great that you can still have that hands-on experience. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to drop a comment below or message me on Instagram, like I said earlier, at activeact7be, as well as the Show Up Fitness, the Show Up Fitness Internship. We are online at www.showupfitness.com. And remember, before you go, to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And of course, remember, if you want to become a great, successful personal trainer, all you guys gotta do is show up. It's your girl, Lady.